to the moon and back. So there's an unexpected friendship that forms when these two lonely people find comfort in speaking to each other every Friday. Um, although the relationship does begin out of selfish and, and dishonest desires to, you know, to fill a connection, you know, but also to make money off of people's desire to connect. But even despite all that, they form a true connection, which begins to emerge into a relationship. And they begin to feel they are seen because the other allows them to feel that way. And they're connecting on the voice alone, which is really beautiful to see the development of this true emotional bond. Denning is truly beautiful. Her talking him out of his attempt to end his life, but then finally seeing him at the end. And I love that you never really see him and it's just his voice. And you get this sense that he is coming up to her at this very last final moment of the movie. Um, I just thought it was really powerful that we never actually got to see him as the audience. Talking to Moon and Back, I thought this was a really, really beautiful story. And, you know, when you get the information at the end, at the very, very beginning of, you know, you know that a character is going to pass away, like is going to die, it almost changes how you see it in a way because you know that there's an end date, you know that there's, you know, an expiration date, you know that there's not going to be something else that like really, really happens, but you still go into the rest of the film with this kind of blind hope. And I think that that's such a lovely romantic sentiment um, to still then kind of really get to know the character and you know bond with the character even while knowing like oh they're only going to be talking for x amount of weeks or you know x amount of phone calls and you know this kind of looming terminal diagnosis and you just can't help but but bonding with the characters and you know at the end when she <laughs> i won't say loses it but a little bit loses it with you know, wanting to meet and wanting to take the risk of, you know, being the one that's left behind and things like that, you completely understand where she's coming from and you don't want her to be hurt, but you kind of want them to be able to have that time. And, you know, it's like I said, I just, I think it's, it, it's such an interesting way when you start the beginning of a film, knowing that there is an expiration date or like an end date for two characters because you th there's almost this sense of like uh urgency with it and this sense of like you want them to have as much time as they can so you want them to kind of bond faster and things like that which I think when you're f setting it up like this we're having phone calls is a really really great way to do that because you're not necessarily worried about what you look like and things like that especially if you're under the impression that you're never going to meet because then I feel like you can you you have this kind of freedom to be yourself without trying to put your kind of best foot forward um but I really really liked this I thought it was a really great story and really well done talking to moon and Beck doesn't necessarily seem like a documentary short to me, but it does seem like a well put together narrative performance. We have the story of this woman taking care of business. Um, she has found a way to uh, utilize sex work to make means meet. She ends up getting on the phone with a gentleman named back and she identifies uh, her name as moon so you're talking to the moon and oftentimes when people talk to the moon there's this idea of trying to speak to someone that you want to speak back to and reciprocate and return that energy uh, you're essentially leaving that door open for opportunity and in this case it's an opportunity for romance and human connection to come in. I think this really humanizes the experience of the relationship between uh, a worker and her partner. 
I think it really humanizes really the due diligence and work that comes behind this idea of sex work. A lot of the times people think it's this down and dirty act, but in reality, more times often than not, you see these men struggle and um, have hard times struggling to come to terms with these things and often pay for the company of uh, a woman, a listening ear, a sense of space that they can speak their mind and it just so happens when it comes to the two of moon and back uh, they have more connections than they realize i really loved this metaphorical uh, essence that existed within the baby's breath uh, it being moon's favorite favorite flower and this connection to um, her sense of love and neglect thereof um, this idea of baby's breath is often used in as a adding on in a bouquet, right? It's an add-on piece. Um, yeah, this is Moon's or Moon's mother's favorite flower. And uh, baby's breath, you know, you think about life. That is the first sense of life. And in this case, Beck, her counterpart, has a terminal illness and in doing so has sort of given up on this aspect of finding love, sort of just having an encounter of um, trying to come up with these experiences that he wish he had and uh, Moon sort of takes the role to fulfill them. The film takes a dramatic ending turn, but in the best ways, it really has you hold on to Moon's fear and shows the real passion and care that she's uh, ended up grabbing towards a person that she's never even met before even, um, rushing to the bridge uh, just to uh, give him another chance to um, breathe another moment, live another day. And that last stark uh, shot of her just looking back after he speaks hello to her um, is really all that we need. We don't really need to see uh, their meet cute almost because we've already seen this build up knowing that they're going to reap that reward. Talking to the Moon and Back was such a great short film. I thought the directing, the acting, and the themes are all perfectly executed throughout the film, but it easily allows the audiences to quickly connect and engage with the story and the characters. So well done.